What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and beautiful people of the Crasher community? How are you guys doing today? So we're back with another video to talk about Pokemon, more specifically Pokemon cards. There's apparently this shop in Japan that actually bans adults from buying Pokemon cards. Let's get into this. Japanese shop bans adults from buying Pokemon cards. A Japanese card shop has restricted specific Pokemon card packs to only school children, preventing adults from purchasing them. On April 19, the Pokemon Company International responded to the theft of hundreds of cards from the Sword and Shield Fusion Strike expansion at a Texas store. The company claimed the robbery had affected the integrity of the high-valued cards. However, thieves have not only ravaged card shops in the United States, but also in Japan. In January 2023, Japan experienced a string of robberies that resulted in tens of millions of yen in Pokemon cards being stolen. Now, a leading Japanese game shop has prohibited adults from purchasing select Pokemon cards. Haruya 2, located in Tokyo's Akihabara district, has revealed it would dedicate a store section to junior high school students and younger. On Twitter, the shop announced it would limit 10 packs a day per person of the Snow Hazard and Clay Burst packs. Additionally, it would start checking identification to confirm the buyer's age. On the first floor, Haruya 2 would keep selling the packs until they ran out each day. The new rule would also ban parents and guardians from purchasing Pokemon cards for their children. Twitter user The Hidden Lettuce believed Haruya 2's restriction was justifiable, however it would not stop adults from paying children to buy Pokemon cards for them. In an interview with Japanese news site Live Door, store manager Sho Watanabe explained the decision. Many shops exhaust their entire stock of Pokemon cards as soon as they go on sale, and people active late at night or early in the morning always seem to buy the cards, Watanabe said. By allocating half our stock for general customers, shops can continue to sell the cards to students and young children. Selling goods to children not only pleases them, but their parents as well. We feel this method of sales enables us to satisfy the greater number of customers when the items are in such a limited supply. Would you pay a kid to buy you Pokemon cards? Maybe it depends on the rarity of the TCG pack. Well, this right here is a really, really interesting dynamic. Wow. Now, while I agree with this in theory, in practice, this right here might actually yield some pretty bad results, and let me explain why. So, have you guys ever heard of the term liquor run before? This is where, essentially, you would have a legal adult that is of drinking age to be able to purchase liquor for minors that are underneath the legal age to drink and purchase alcohol. Well, I can imagine this right here being the scenario, but in reverse, you're going to have adults that want to get their mitts on those Pokemon cards, but because they're not allowed to buy those Pokemon cards, they are going to most likely target kids to get those cards for them. And that right there would essentially put those children potentially in some pretty big danger. And this right here kind of just goes to show another fine example of what happens when you allow for a craze to get way the hell out of control. Yes, I get it, it's Pokemon. Yes, I get it, it's Pokemon cards and they're highly profitable. But this right here is just another example of what happens when the spiderweb effect takes into effect here because now we have ourselves this weird restriction taking place where again i agree with it in theory in practice i can imagine this going completely south so i'm hoping that for the sake of these children that are going to be buying these cards i hope that their parents are going to be there with them for safety but with that being said though ladies and gentlemen these are just my own opinions and analysis on the situation what do you guys think do you agree do you disagree Either way, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to hear you guys back in the comments down below. Just remember, as per the crash or usual, keep it 100 and keep it cool.
with each other in the comments down below, regardless of agreeing or disagreeing. Either way, I love hearing you guys back. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one, you beautiful people. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you next time.